What's going on guys and welcome back to a brand new brain session for products and I was thinking about diet water you know when zero calories is just too many calories in this video we're going to be talking about the filters using our testing unit just for the filters actions now all right we're going to be focusing on this this should be extremely simple and it should be fast um, because it's almost the exact same thing as our expenses all right so let's get to it in our test we're going to create a new file it's filters filters dot test dot js and here we do need to import all of our functions from oops, from action slash uh, filters actions okay and we're gonna let me actually put it up spit right so I can see what's going on what do we have okay set set start date set set end date set keyword filter sort by sort sort by amount and then sort by date let me actually do view toggle word wrap so that way we can see what's going on and there we have it we have all of our functions and let's get to testing so the first thing is always we're going to uh, do a test function and this will I hate it when it does that a test function where the first argument is the description so we're gonna be testing out the start date first of all should generate a set start date date action object should generate set start date action object. Okay, it does. All right. With our function in here. And right here, we're going to have to get our action or call our function. So action, and we're going to set that equal to set start date. And for this, I'm going to be using moment. So we do need to import moment as well. Moment from moment. And here start date and we're gonna just pass in a moment instance and that is it so what do we expect to come back we expect we expect the action dot to equal an object and that object should have type let me actually copy it right here where is it at set start date it should have type to that and it should have the start date so start date equal or be the moment instance because remember guys this moment once you if you don't pass anything inside of it it's just going to get today's date which it is and that's what we're doing right here we expect today's date which is this so if you control so control save this go to the terminal and just actually run yarn run test we should get i don't know or we should get whatever however many tests we had in expense plus one more and you'll see that it does a great job of actually uh filtering out where the tests are oh and we get a a um a felt let's see what's going on I see that everything is the same except for these the last two digits and I'm guessing it's creating from this so let's actually pass in zero for both of them control save it rerun the test It's going to rerun automatically and this should be passing yeah okay so all we need to do was just add something in so that way both of them could be the same remember if you do an instance it'll create an instance and this one will also create an instance of itself and we do that this is the reason why we get different values just for the last two digits but let's just pass in zero so that way both of them could be the same exact value and now we have all passing all passing which is awesome where's my other ones at what you do what, what uh, i just played around i was like where's the other ones at but it does give you an option it says that press w if you want more and then you have to press a to run all tests which i did 
and we have two suites suites meaning two files and we have five that passed one here and obviously I'm guessing four in here one one two three four. yeah four in here and then one in here so five passed awesome 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 no we need our filters all right our filters let's do it again for our end date and this should be simple it's going to be sort by end date copy paste and we're going to do the exact same thing but set end date and this should be end date control save we should see our running but while that's running let's do another one yeah we got two of them so I'm, I'm kind of going fast and the reason why is because this is exactly the same thing as expense as I mentioned before so you should know what's what's going on and let's actually say right here should generate set end date action object now let's actually test for our keyword our keyword function okay set text or set keyword dead data action object which is right and then right here action actually on here I'm going to create a a const of keyword we're gonna set that equal to just a string this is my key word doesn't really matter and then we're gonna call it right here so set keyword filter and we do need to pass in a keyword which we already created so keyword and down here we expect a type of set keyword and we expect keyword I'm just doing a shorthand version it, it would be this keyword set to keyword but I'm just doing the shorthand version control save this we should have all of them testing or passing now which we do now we're going to do the keyword again but this time without passing anything it should return a blank or an uh, empty string so let me copy this copy get rid of this and say right here default value default value and our keyword should be empty strings and there's no keyword being passed in so now we're going to be focusing on our start or sort methods or functions <clears throat> and we're going to be focusing on the date first so should generate set what is it set or oh, sort sort so it's not even sort so should generate action object for sort by amount and right here action sort by amount sort sort by amount and expect action to equal sort by amount this is literally it right here we could get rid of this keyword awesome and let's do it one more time for our sort by date sort by date and this one should be sort by date control save and now we should have nine tests passing which is true or 11 what 11 passed awesome so that was it for this video guys um, in the next video I do want you to actually give it a try because in the next video we're going to be doing test units for our re not reducers and also our selectors now the next video might be a long one because I don't know let me know this is this was a short video um, it was actually just I didn't even talk that much I didn't even tell you what's going on because we already explained it so uh, selectors and reducers they're going to be kind of the same but it's going to be a little bit more difficult or complex I should say but give it a shot try to give it a shot and tell me how it goes in the comments down below also 
Leave a like if you liked it. Leave a dislike if I did something dumb. Um, subscribe if you haven't. And also uh, leave a comment down below on what you think about the video or how I present the topics that I'm talking about. I really do appreciate that. So I will see you in the next video. Bye.